The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the Prada. That's how a nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass, it's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock, don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks, they just shot up. We up at the camp, and yeah. like you said, Fifth saying that all these records is gonna get me a deal. Why? But then, but then he got a deal. He got the Columbia, yeah, deal, got the Columbia so deal, so that we could go from there. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. It. I mean, but why? Why? I really I wish. I, I really wish that JMJ thing had like worked out. That would have been different. Like if Jam Master J would have actually been able to. Do you think? Well, I mean, obviously, he's the end result says he was right to make a move from Jay to, you know what I'm saying, going to get a deal someplace else. But mm -hmm. why do you think why do you think Jay didn't have the the same energy that that Fifth had to get outside? Man, that's a good question. Jay was he was definitely wanting to see him go. Mm -hmm. But at the time the marketing was different, how to break an artist. Mm. You know what I mean? So it wasn't the same. Every few years, marketing and how you break all this, it, it adjusts. You know, so I think at that time, Jay was used to the old way, mm -hmm. and Fifth was getting busy and trying to figure out how to really break through the market and be known by all the industry as mm -hmm. well as the whole music lovers in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So at that time, Jay was just like, you know, doing what he was doing, but Fifth was like trying to figure out records like how to rob is going to get this person attention. It's going to get everyone attention. It's going to get the industry. So he thinking of how to market itself to blow. Mm -hmm. And he's just trying to get there. But Jay got a whole bunch of artists on the roster, like I said. So he was just another one. He was the newest one. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jay put him on that Onyx record. Right. React. 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 Yeah. Which was a, big, was a big look for him. That shit was dope. And that's what got us to play, oh, who's that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that was the beginning. Jay helped. He contributed. Right, and right. And he, he done contributed to all of us where... So many people he done helped in Queens and all over. You know what I mean? And that's one thing about Jay that I, no one can say wrong. Like he Rest in peace, Jam. Rest in peace, yeah, rest in peace, peace Jam. Rest in Jay. You know what I mean? And shout out to Davey D and all of them from Hollis and from Queens, from my hood. Because growing up in my hood, just crossing over Hollis Ave, and you see him run DMC in a, in a Benz and mm -hmm. Jay in a Land Cruiser, and you just seeing these idols and you see stretching an MPV. Like, I grew up in a place where everybody was at. Mm -hmm. You go to Linden and you go to 190, 180, you see Q-Tip and Fife and mm -hmm. you, you go to Farmers, you see LL. So I was surrounded mm -hmm. by that shit. Mm -hmm. And that shit in my hood just made me like want to be in the hip hop. Mm -hmm. Just going to the park and seeing Curtis Blow, he's sleeping in the park at certain times. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he from not from my hub, but he'd be working with David D. I don't know what he was doing in the park. But I didn't see him in the park, bro. He was outside, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Maybe he should have been inside. <laughs> Maybe that's time to go in. Maybe yeah. that's the time to go inside. For real. But now now we you you're not just like the whole G Unit experience going up and, and catching fifth and him confiding in you what the plan was. Now you're a part of a team team. Now you're not just individual Sean Money XL, the dope producer who did this record, that record, this. but now you're like under an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Was that an intentional move? Did you mean to like really rock with this dude that tough or did the records just keep going and you never stop? So the real original umbrella was literally just me and him. Hmm. Right? Yeah, yo, yeah, yo and them was the nowhere around when we first started. But when we got in my basement, few weeks after he was cutting his records, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm going to bring my homies too. Mm. Now, Yeo come in my crib, the first time he rapped in the basement, I'm like, yo, why he sound like that? Then I go in my booth, he's on the opposite side of the mic. He don't even really know how to rap. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he on the oh, opposite man. side. I never like, heard that before. That's front crazy. Of the filter, bro. Like, he behind. I'm like, bro, why you sound like that? So, like, they used to holding mics mm -hmm. and rapping with... With with with, with shot a DJ that from their hood like they doing it like this they not used to going in vocal booths. Fifth knew it, you know what I mean. So fifth, and then that was the first introduction to Yayo, and then Yayo 
was like, I'm going to bring my home here. He brought Banks, and that's how it started. But this was happening way before Ye and Banks with me and Phil. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. when that happened, then Banks got in that booth that was like, yo, what the fuck yo, is this? Who the fuck is this nigga? What's this right now? And he was going in. Mm-hmm. He was younger too. You know what I mean? So he was way younger. So, so at that time, I'm like, yo, this is going to be crazy. He was like, yo, help me, help me get this, and I got you. I was like, let's go, bro. What I want to ask real quick, what was it like the night that you heard that he got shot, 50 Cent? It wasn't night. Did you hear the night, that it night over? It was middle of the day. Right. Listening to High 97, this female host, I'm trying to remember her name. It's a female host. Not Angie. Not Angie, not Sunny. I think she's in Philly now, but she was a female host. Oh, uh, um, oh shit. 97? It wasn't Wendy Williams. No, 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 no. Oh, and I'm thinking of somebody else, because I'm thinking of the brown skin. uh, It's not T.T. Torres, right? Nope. No, definitely before that. Coco? Nope. I can't remember her name. She's just been out of the game. I haven't seen her in decades. If it's who I think it is. And she was the one that announced it. Now, meanwhile, I'm in my Tahoe at this time. I'm moved like, up from what? the MPV. I moved up to, from the MPV. <laughs> Tahoe. Son in the back seat. One years old. What? I know there's only one hospital you're going to go to if you get shot. Mm-hmm. Jamaica Hospital. I pull up to Jamaica Hospital. I see Kev. I see everybody from, you know, that I knew from his, from his hood. They were all in the hallway just going crazy. Grandma. I'm like, just wow. And I got my son, so I couldn't stay long. Mm-hmm. It was like, nothing. you can't go upstairs. You can't do nothing. So mm-hmm. I was like, wow. So then from that point on, I just went home and listened to the station. And then I just started calling his grandmother like, shortly after until I could get through and then until he could finally call back. And y'all have been rocking for how long up to that point? So we've been like, this is, he got shot with 2001, 2000. 2000. Mm-hmm. 2000 so we yeah. was 96. This is four years in. Hmm. Mm. It's four years in. Of you running him through the circuit, kidding. doing powder dollar, doing everything before he made it, running him through the DJs, running around, coming down from Bearsville, getting him to Queens, wherever I could do, I'm there. Mm. And this is lot, like a lot before producing, really. I only right. did like two tracks for him at this time. And his work ethic, you talk about that a lot. Like the Never seen nothing like that, bro. Never seen nothing like that. That's why I'm calling like, yo. So then he finally called back. If he got shot in May. I didn't get a call to September that year. Damn. Mm. His mouth was wide. Right. He had to rehabilitate. What were you doing during that span of time? Producing in the crib, working mm. with everyone, trying to get it on. Just keep it going. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That's when the Beanie record was happening. Trash came mm. out that mm. year. Mm-hmm. Things was moving for me. I was in a good space. Jane Blaze had a deal at, at a job. So I had multiple things running. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted to tell him because mm. he got shot in May. I brought my house in June. So I'm like, yo, bro, I got my crib, bro. I'm out the hood. No one knows where I live. Mm-hmm. Come to my crib. And that's how it started. He, he pulled up? He came to... He pulled up. He pulled up in a, in a mini burgundy van. Burgundy minivan with Smurf and all of them. All the soldiers. L, everybody. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. come out. They see, they see the scope. I'm on a dead end. He's like, all right. Come to the basement. We work one night. He filled the vibes. He only went out time one more time to cut a record, and that was Fuck You with Clark Kent. After that, everything was done in my crib. It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill, nowadays I bump side A Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway 